one thing I get asked a lot is, if you use Vim and an alternate keyboard layout, aren't all the muscle memories like all messed up because of that? And especially the arrow keys. And I faced the exact same problem when I switched. At first I was like, oh shit, my, I'm, it's over for my Vim career, you know? Um, so I tried to remap things, but immediately you're going to face a bunch of problems doing that. The first one is either you just remap the arrow keys and then you have to like map other keys to fill that gap. You know what I mean? If you map HJKL, like, or, or the keys you need for, say on Cole Mac DH, it's NEIO, and you have to map those away so that you can put HJKL back there, you have to put NEIO back in those places. So that's not terrible, that's four remaps. But if you don't wanna do that, you're gonna have to remap more things and not close the loop. Um, and then I don't really love that because even if you're just remapping four things, it's like, it's just kind of different than a fully like no config changes to Vim's. I, it's not terrible, right? It's just like now every time I SSH into something, I'm gonna need to change that or my muscle memory will be bad. And I currently haven't really found a good workflow for bringing over my local dot files. Like I should just have one, but it's like sometimes they don't have Vim installed or it's like an older version of Vim. Or, so you just need, it's not terrible, you just need like the Vim script remaps, but I just don't want to deal with that. So the other option is you just suck it up, and that's what I did. At first I was like, there's no way, that's, they've got to be joking, right? Um, and people say, well, you'll use the other motions more. And I didn't really buy that that much, but I just kind of did it. And actually it's really... I, I've got to say, I now prefer the placement of the Vim keys in Colmac, uh, as crazy as it sounds. But the reason is the F and J keys are actually kind of in intuitive places, and, and the, the H and, and K, is, or H and L, they're kind of like up and down from each other in opposite places. So you like, you, you go up to go down and vice versa. Um, but actually, when they're moved away, I found that it's it's more annoying to use those so i started to use other motions more like people are actually saying and it really actually wasn't that bad and now i just i don't have this extra annoying level of configuration it's not a huge deal if you want to do that i know people like ben valick i think have done that a completely valid remap and it's not that big of an ass to switch over those lines but for me i just wanted like no abstraction between them i want to just type on my keyboard layout and just no vim um and yeah, it's uh, it just got to a point where I relearned it. I got used to it. It was, it's much much easier to break ground that you've already covered um, than to break it for the first time. So because I knew all the Vim motions, yeah, they were moved around a little bit, but it's still like you've got the you've got them in your head. You know what I mean? You're like N, oh N for next. So I'm just gonna hit the N key. It doesn't matter that it's in a different place. Whereas if you tried to force the QWERTY layout of Vim, then you'd be like, and for, or, or it, it's weird because now the keys are like misaligned from the Vim semantic meanings, you know what I mean? Whereas, whereas you can kind of keep them in your head if you just don't remap. Hopefully that made sense. Um, if it didn't, just go back and rewatch that and think about what I was saying really hard. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my two cents on that issue. Feel free to disagree. I'm sure that's it's not like the only valid way to do it, but um, that's what I did. It worked pretty well. Um, and yeah, I, I think just when you hear that advice initially to just like suck it up and deal with it, it seems like crushing, but it's really not as bad as it sounds. So I would just power through it. It'll take you maybe a day to get the muscle memory back. The arrow keys, they're a little, it feels bad at first, but you'll get used to them being there. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs>